Hello everyone, let's have another lesson again, the Emperor's Egg Phonics and Spelling. So, Miss Anna is here again to talk about spelling words and phonics. So, let's go! But before that, let's have the word of the day. Care. What does it mean? This is an adjective displaying kindness and concern for others. Now, like for example, your parents are taking good care of you, like you have your friends, you do care about them, you, give, you, you try to give them kindness, you are concerned about them if, if someone is sick, they're not feeling well, you care about them. Oh, how are you? Are you okay? Can I, how can I help you? So this word is a very, very good word, care. I hope that you, you can show your care to your, your parents, to your teachers, to your baby brother or, or your sisters, or to other people. Okay, now... Sentence example, the caring father penguins takes care of the egg. Okay, let's move on. Now, before we go to the next spelling words, I want you to have a short review of the story, the genre of the story. Once again, this genre of the story is non-fiction informational story. And what does it mean? An informational book gives facts about a topic, just like this story. It gives facts about emperors, penguin, and how does an uh, how does a father penguin takes care of the baby penguin, and so on and so forth. Where do they live? Antarctica, and that's it. Now, you're going to look for an information that helps you learn more about the world. Just like you talked about the global warming, what is happening in our world now. So, this is an informational story, okay? And the captions that give more about the pictures. Okay, let's review some vocabulary before we go to the spelling. Now, look at this picture now here yes if you're gonna guess the word it's hatch because it shows from this image so here to break out of an egg so the baby hatched from the egg on his father's feet there you go so lovely isn't it look at that Imagine that they're gonna spend like two to three months. They're not gonna eat just to make it sure that they can keep the eggs under their tummies and they're gonna keep the eggs warm until it hatch. It's so cute. Next. Let's gonna let's spell hatch. H A T C H. I want you to clap your hands. H A T C H. H A T C H. Hatch. Very good. Now let's go to the next word. Can you make a guess? Look at the picture. Look at the image. Okay, those penguins are walking. Look at that. Look at that. Like that. Now, what do you call that word? But actually, the, the vocabulary here is those small beans, okay? So they are flippers, just like hands and feet. Flippers, flippers. The baby penguins use their flippers to move from through the water. Now, if you're going to look at the flippers of the penguins, it seems like they can fly, but actually they are not able to fly. Next, let's spell the word flippers, F-L-I-P-P-E-R-S, F-L-I-P-P-E-R-S, flippers, flippers, okay, good job, flippers, 
Next, oh, look at that. The polar bears, okay? They fell on the blank ice. Slippery, slippery ice. Not sticky, causing sliding. Hmm, I remember my experience of ice skating. I really don't know how to do that. And I fell on, on the ice like for how many times and then I quit. I wanted to try and try but I really couldn't do it. Do you know how to do I do you know how to do ice skating? I think so you know. So let's spell slippery. S L I P P E R Y Slippery Slippery Okay Great One Waddle Waddle Yeah that's what it looks like. Move in a funny way like a dog. A toddler pulled the toy duck and it Waddle, look at this toy duck, okay? So once you pull the toy, it duck, and then after that, it will waddle. Okay, this is like a funny way walking thing. I hope that you are not gonna walk like that because it's, it's, not, it's not good to see. Next, let's spell waddle. W A D D L E D. W A D D L E D. Waddle. Waddle. Great. Now let's have this one. Now look at this image. Okay, great. It's horizon where the sky seems to meet the earth. Now please, to be a to be a good student, you need to know how to write the word. You need to know the correct spelling. You need to learn what's the meaning of this word. You need to know how to say or pronounce the words, okay? So that you can also use this in your own daily daily English conversations with other people. Horizon. Look at the horizon to see the setting sun. There you go. Now it's time to spell it. Horizon, H-O-R-I-Z-O-N, H-O-R-I-Z-O-N, Horizon, Horizon, great, now there's another vocabulary, look at that, so for example, in, in a certain movie like Little Pete, he was miserable when he couldn't find his friends, of course, how will you feel if you will not, if you couldn't find your friends? Of course, they are your friends. What if you couldn't, you cannot find your mother or father? You will really feel miserable, very unhappy, and worried, right? Next, let's spell the word miserable. M I S E R A B L E. Miserable, miserable. Great, fantastic. Now, so some spelling words. These spelling words are pretty easy for you, but I wanted to know that these words are included in your book. That's why I'm teaching this one. Okay, look at that baby penguin. It's so cute. So here, number one, listen carefully to me, Anna. Actually, actually, this is an adverb. The synonyms are, in fact, really actually actually okay for example the penguins are actually flightless birds in fact these birds are not able to fly actually but there are many ways on how you're going to use the word actually it depends upon the content of the sentence okay but for this one in fact or actually okay next completely Completely. This is an adverb. It means totally. Now here, the root word of this adverb is complete. And then it, it adds like L-Y to make it an adverb. Adverbs are, are normally like that. Usually like that. Complete, completely. Okay? So, let's have an example sentence. The father penguin is completely amazing. Yeah, I agree with that. Amazing because 
for two to three months he's, go he's gonna stand and just take care of that egg until it hatch that's pretty amazing it's like a big sacrifice okay for the baby penguin just like your real father they're working hard for you to give everything that you want and need that's why I want you to like take good care also of your parents show some care to them you can try to cook some food for them those simple simple menu or dish you can try to study hard so that they will be proud of you how will you show, show your care to your father and mother to your grandmother and grandfather to your teachers and friends okay now, slowly slowly slow slowly slow slowly the root word is slow now of course when you say slowly i know that you know the meaning of this already this is an adverb meaning it at a slow speed and not quickly i have seen a video like the penguins are running and still not very fast okay slowly but they are fast swimmers i tell you that i wanted to research some facts about penguins it's it's really interesting to read about these cute penguins slowly next the penguins waddled slowly and next word is dinner dinner of course you know the word dinner already breakfast lunch and then dinner dinner is now the main meal of the day taken around midday or in the evening dinner <laughs> look at that the penguins are eating fish so maybe that's their dinner the food okay next the penguins usually eat fish for their dinner but penguins also eat they do also eat like shrimp like creature feature creatures like krill um, some squid or seafood next doing doing so this a verb uses an auxiliary before the subject of an interrogative sentence as a way of forming a question doing like does do okay doing <laughs> look at this figure they are so cute what are they doing do you think they are playing or they just can't really walk because it's so slippery on the ice? So what are these penguins doing? Okay, next. Eating. Eating. Gerard or present participle to put food into the mouth and chew and swallow it. Remember, these are included in your books. I know it is very easy for you. But let's just have a review of it and use it in your own simple sentences, okay? Eating. The penguins are eating some seafood, squid, krill, and fish. Okay? Krill is like shrimp-like creatures, creatures, okay? Krill. Just like the whales. The whales are eating a ton of krills. Important. Important. Adjective, great significance or value. It is very important for the Florida penguin to to keep to keep the eggs warm so that they can fully develop like uh, like a chick, okay, a baby penguin. So here, important. It's important for the female penguins to hunt for weeks and get ready once the eggs will be hatched. So it, it is significant, it is of value, it is important for the female penguins to hunt for eggs for weeks, okay? Important. It is important for you to study hard. It is important for you to do your homework. It is important for you to be a good student be a good person it is important for you to watch news it is important for you to take good care of your body and so on and so forth nothing nothing this is a pronoun not anything or no single thing zero nothing 
I said nothing. <laughs> Just like for example, why are you telling me that? Why are you asking? Why are you accusing me? I said nothing. So you can just use nothing. There is nothing that I can say, but you need to take care of yourselves. There is nothing that I can do, but blah, blah, blah. So I hope that you can use these words in your own simple sentences. Please try. A good student, I told you, knows how to write the word. Re say the word, understand the word, and use the word in your daily English conversation. You're gonna forget this if you're not speaking in English, okay? Next, if you're not gonna use these words in real life. Standing. Oh, you know this already. Uh, this is an adjective upright on the feet or base. Stand up. Stand. Standing. Penguins can sleep sitting in the water. Whoa, standing up? Oh, can you sleep standing up? Yeah, maybe, but not for a very long time. Lying down or just sitting? Standing. Next word. Starting. Starting. This is a verb. Come into being, begin or cause an event or process to happen. Start. Starting. Synonyms are beginning. Starting. Okay, sentences, the winter is starting in March in some distances of Antarctica. Some places like it starts in May. Wow, look at that. This is so amazing to watch. Next, swimming. Okay, swimming, it's double M. Swimming. Swim. Swimming. This is a noun, the act, art, or sport of one that swims and dies. Just like these penguins, they are very good at swimming. And the sentence is, A penguin's black and white plumage serves as a camouflage while swimming. Yes, there you go. Next is, Taking. Taking. Take. Taking. This is a verb. To get into one's hands or into one's possession or to catch. Taking. Example. The emperor penguins are taking care of the eggs and incubate on their feet. Now please, I want you to repeat after me. Incubate. Incubate. This incubate is an important word for you to know because it means that keeping warm. The incubate. In real life, if a certain baby is not like fully developed, fully matured, then they need to be incubated. In that incubator, it is like a machine, then there is a certain light that keeps the body of the baby warm so that the baby will be fully matured and develop all of its organs until it will be okay. Okay? For human beings, it's like nine months. But for these eggs, nine months. If you, when your if your mother is going to be ready in delivering a baby, or, you, or to deliver you the world, but this these penguins, it takes a lot, like two to three months. Okay. Now, do you have a question? Of course. It, once I go back CIS, then. We're gonna do a lot of conversations and talk about these words, okay? And for your homework, you need to review the spelling words and answer the spelling test that I'm gonna sign in the group chat of, the, of your parents. Please do your best to answer. And try your best to make it perfect, okay? And if you cannot be able to uh, understand what am I talking about here, you can try to open my PowerPoint presentation at once again so goodbye my dear students i hope to see you soon and have a good day